elections? What's commotions? Um, all these riots, Black Lives Matter movements from here to London to Africa. You got um, protests in Belgium where they burning each other and shit. In Venezuela where they eating each other. Ain't nobody been talking about Venezuela lately. Anybody heard anything about Venezuela? Last thing I heard they were eating dogs and cats and shit. Of course, they probably got media blackout over there. It says, verse 10. Then said he unto me, them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And that's happening now. That's nation against nation. It's just you idiots don't know that you're a damn nation. Y'all calling yourselves black. But y'all the nation of Israel. And the nation of Edom is rising up against you. And the nation of Moab and Ammon, they're rising up against you, shooting you down the streets. The KKK dressed up as police, uh, gunning your ass down and raping you, raping the women still. Verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. We're hearing about that all over the world, in diverse places. And famines. Right, food shortage is happening. They're cutting off EBT benefits. And the pestilences, which they have to end the uh, EBT. All right, they have to end that uh, because they're shutting down that system. They're shutting down that fiat currency system. So when that ends, they're basically ending the debt, the debt-based system, and and they're gonna come collect on the collateral. But um, as of the 1933 Joint Resolution 192, they co they considered the human being as a person collateral. So when they come collect on collateral, there you go with the RFID chip and concentration camps from, from to pay on the debt that America created. All right, this is 11, and all right, um. And fearful sights and great signs shall be, shall there be from heaven. Right, we're seeing uh, big signs in the heavens, red moons, uh, new moons, red, uh, new moons, uh, so many new moons coming in twice in a month. Um, you got what looks like asteroids shooting by. You know what I'm saying? You got crazy storms, freak storms, and uh, crazy sounds popping up. Sounds like shofars, or trumpets in the sky. Which I think are the shofars being blown by the angels. Um, if, you, if you if you count them and check out the timing of them, it was almost about seven that made that noise, man. It was roar, the loudest shit over the past years. That's just me though. That's not scripture. I'm saying. Verse twelve. But they, but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you, and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake all right so right there that's what he, they're gonna try to lock some of us up man some of the brothers they might try to test you and throw you in the jail for teaching this truth and call you a terrorist and shit all right saying that you inciting riots or something or inciting terrorism you never know man they're gonna label us as um um terrorist man just from teaching his truth and being righteous and, and, and humble and peaceful so they said they're going to throw some of some of the brothers into prison for standing up for Yahweh's name so, so IUIC y'all standing up for Christ of Jesus anyway man so when they throw you in the jails where you got to go after that to, to the judge so that's being delivered up before the judges man 13 and it's your turn to you for a testimony Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Right, and that's what y'all people do. Y'all go out to um, protest Black Lives Matter and y'all saying the damn chants and shit. No racist police, some shit like that. It's like, mm, that's something them women made up. They don't, they don't know what the fuck to say. Even when somebody get in their face, they, you know, so what do you think about that? He's like, justice, police, no just racist in the streets. And like, that's it. That's it. Fucking joke, man. This is <laughs> 14. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and, and wisdom, which are, which all your adv adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. So that's right now, man. We speaking fire from our, our mouths, man. We speaking wisdom. Through the power of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. We have become the mouth of the Lord, according to the um, book of Baruch. Alright, it says on um, verse 15, or verse 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolks, 
and friends and some of you shall they cause to be put to death see that man so that's why you can't trust nobody right now because your friends and your family the ones that's acting like they're cool with you they're gonna be the ones that say yo man my brother or my son or my you know my cousin he the one that was teaching this stuff he the one that, the more they teach the more this shit keep happening it's their god that's doing it you never know or he a terror or they might say hey you better tell us where that nigga at. We're going to kill you. Or we're going to put you in jail. And he, gonna, he right around the corner. F apartment 404. No house, no door. You know what I'm saying? And quick to snitch on your ass. Alright, so it says, um, verse 17. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Right? It said, no servant is greater than his master. So, any death, none of us want to experience death. But to, you know... It's just, it's just, we had to feel it until we go to sleep. And once we sleep, we'll be risen up. And, and it, it'll be worth it because how Shah went through and he created that whole process. And nothing nothing could keep us from Yah the love of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So it'd be just like we went to sleep and woke up. Even if we, even if somebody died years ago and they wake up, when Yahweh Shah wake up, uh, when Yahweh Shah um, comes back, it's going to be like they were sleeping for a couple of minutes, if you think about it. That's why when somebody gets in a coma in October and they wake up next October, they they only remember the, um, what happened before they went to sleep. Verse 18, but there shall not a hair of your head perish. See that? And your patience possess ye your souls. <laughs> so that's what we're supposed to do with you. We're supposed to possess our souls in patience, man, and endurance. All right, so at the end of the day, we're not going to perish. They might kill the body, but not be able to kill the soul, man. You know what I mean? So we won't perish at the end of the day. Basically, won't be, when something perishes, that means it's forgotten about. It's uh, decaying. All right? It's, um, it's, it's out of there. It's going to be forgotten about. Right, this is Luke 21, 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And that's Second Ezra chapter 6 where it says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. All right. This is how it goes. So that's the time of the Gentiles that's being fulfilled, man. The, the time of the heathens is being fulfilled right now. It's, your time is up. It's our time. That is it. Verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken right when the missiles hitting and the, the hurricanes is coming the chaos and the chariots is swooping all down over the damn place and the lord's presence itself is going to tremble the earth when the missiles hit it's going to rock the earth which is going to be taking a like taking a cup and shaking that motherfucker because that's going to happen when the water on the earth is just shaking up it's going to be all over the place tsunamis everywhere Shit everywhere, blood and fucking piss. Everybody passing out, dying and shit. Isn't death? I'm being sarcastic, but it's true. Verse tw twenty-seven, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. So we got a long way to go, man. We at the end, but it's the beginning of the end. We're gonna see a lot of death. You know, we gotta prepare ourselves. If we're not gonna die through the Spirit, Yahweh Bashem Shai. Our eyes are going to see a lot of destruction, a lot of close uh, encounters, man. A lot of barely making it moments type of thing, man. Where the Most High can pull you, pull you out of it, and show you, um, strengthen your faith. Should, you know, keep showing you his his existence. But we about to see some shit here, man. Psalms 91 said, "We only with our eyes shall thou see the destruction of the wicked." And what's destruction? Like dead bodies blowing up. Torn apart, sick. Verse 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory, man. With power, yo. In the clouds of that chariot. 
so called UFOs and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your eyes of your heads for your redemption draweth nigh All right, our redemption draweth nigh so we, all we gotta do is look up to the heavens and them chariots gonna be there that's our salvation when they now shoot forth oh 29 and he spake to them a parable behold the fig tree and all the trees when they now shoot forth ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand right y'all can see and pay attention and see the seasons changing y'all see it y'all be like oh it's about to be spring it's about to be summertime it's autumn whatever but y'all don't see this shit like when we were out there teaching y'all and we like yo listen don't y'all see the shit happening Obama got it well don't teach my children none of that stuff like what the fuck okay then so like it so likewise ye when ye see these things come to pass know ye that the kingdom of Yahweh is nigh at hand so that shows that y'all carnal y'all can see the carnal things but not the spiritual things y'all can judge the carnal things but y'all can't judge the spiritual things alright 32 verily I say unto you this generation shall not pass till all be fulfilled heaven and uh, so that means once everything start happening that lets you know we're in that time it ain't gonna happen like next lifetime it's gonna happen now this is it verily I say unto you this generation shall not pass till I all have been fulfilled 33 heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away all right so this this heaven and this earth that we're living in now is gonna pass away meaning um the rulership the age that's on here the age uh, that's ruling right now is gonna pass away but after, out of all the kingdoms that fell the only thing that's here from the beginning of the time is the word everything fell and dissipated but it, to, and to prove that point when the Lord shows up he's gonna destroy all kingdoms he's gonna destroy Rome he said uh, no stone shall go unturned there's still stones there so it's, it's, it's done he gonna, it's, it's gonna be like Sodom and Gomorrah so it's gonna pass away but his word is still going to be here. He's going to dwell in us, most high willing. All right, um, verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that they come upon you unawares, meaning spiritually drunk, physically drunk, and partying. And just bullshitting around, man. And, this, and, and walking in the fucking Black Lives Matter movement. We go out there, we go out there to condemn them and possibly possibly fish for the elect because we found out that there's some brothers walking in that shit that have no idea what's going on so we, we go out there to fish for the elect the see a people that's what we're looking for you know when somebody go fishing they look for the nice nice bit of water when we go fishing we look for a nice bit of people if they ain't out there we still uh, teach to the wind and the lord send one damn brother by something or not you know could you be sharpening you up teaching you're gonna catch you unawares, man. And you be in your security. You be secure in yourself. Walking around here with your woman, not trying to trying to avoid brothers like me. Probably talking shit about me. Or trying to avoid brothers like me. But you got your head up your woman ass. And in 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 and in the world. Alright. I'm trying to avoid brothers like me. Because you know I'm gonna tell you come out and teach. Or you know, get right, do this work. But you're going to have to answer for that. You're going to be unaware in that day. And if, if you run into me, I'm acting like I don't know you. And that's just it. 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth, the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted wor worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man man yo you know what i'm saying it's like nothing happens by chance like he controlling every little bit of this process down to the minute fragment so he has the power to protect you and, and keep you from judgment to be exempt from judgment that seal you know to escape it man to escape all this hell that's about to come into the earth that's the race that should be ran this is Matthew 10 and 34. 
It says, but who's uh, turning 10 and 33? Um, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Right. So when you deny Yahweh Shai his, and you deny his name, um, all you IUIC members, y'all, yeah, he's denying y'all before um, Yahweh, man. It don't matter if y'all came to be Israelites or y'all wear them fucking um, Popeye the Sailor Man boots. All right. Uh, y'all get the fucking um, purple rain garments and shit. All right, y'all got a bunch of women in your congregation. It don't matter about none of that. Bunch of children. You don't care about none of that shit. All he cares about is his word and his truth and what he say go. And right now, y'all y'all not worshiping him the right way. Y'all worshiping him through the carnal, who's trying to say you keeping all the laws perfectly, and that's gonna be the way to the kingdom. That's wrong, because. We offer up spiritual sacrifices and everything you speak, you're going to be account held accountable for it in that day. And right now, y'all speaking blasphemy by saying his name doesn't matter, but y'all got Hebrew names. And saying we're going to make it according to the laws. It's like saying you're not sinning. You're a liar. 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I am. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So when everybody talking about peace, 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 a love, 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 like, this ain't love Yo, you, you getting hit with the sword man That's why you're going through this shit That's why the the police are cracking down on y'all That's why the government is, is shooting people And passing policies behind closed doors To trap you even more This is Matthew 10 and 24 uh, 10 and 28 This is Matthew 10 and 28 And fear not them which kill the body But are not able to kill the soul but rather fear Yahweh, which is able to destroy both body and soul, soul and body in hell. And that's right here, man. So don't fear the um, so-called white man, the police that pull you over. And they're going to kill the body. All right? But, so, you know, you only put the fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. How you show you fear him? You do what he say. Because when y'all go out there to march and the police tell you get your ass out the street. And y'all asses move on to the damn grass, onto the pavement. On the sidewalk, y'all doing what they say. However, y'all look at it. But Yahweh said, "Fear him and do what he say." And that's just it. So with that, man, I want to say all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the elders of GMS, man, and uh, keep on preaching and keep on teaching, man, to the Akim. Shalom.